Okay, for the posterior side, um, a lot of times you'll start with the, the feet region. You can actually step on the feet then. So I'm actually going to lock it over like this. Okay, something like this. And you can just kind of rock it back and forth then too, okay? Okay, some people will actually, you can use your knees in that area too. So just place your knees right in there. Just make sure you balance yourself, okay? Just rock back and forth. And again, if they can't handle it, you can just use one, just so you can balance more your weight in. So you can actually, you can compress up the body too this way. Another compression is too, just go up this area a little bit, put the knee like in the quad, in the calf region. And you can go up the leg this way. But again, you can have both, it depends on what they can handle, but most people can't handle their knees into the calf region. Then you can also put your knees right here then too, okay? So right in the hamstrings region, you can incorporate that. Okay, and then also the glute region, you can bring it right here, put your knees on there, okay? So then you can actually compress low back, mid back, upper back, all these regions. So again, you can have both knees in the glutes if you need to. Okay, next one. Okay, you're just going to lean over, just kind of compress, go up the back. Okay, but you see how my back is totally straight like this, but the thing is, just make sure you kind of rock your own body. You're performing these techniques then too, okay? Okay. More for the legs. You can actually have your right here. Hold on to the feet. And kind of just lean back, okay? You can kind of rock a little bit. So you remember, all, it all depends what they want. If they want more of an actual stretch, so you can actually hold it in that position, okay? Or you can do a little bit of rocking with it too. Okay, next one, place your foot, it's over the lumbar area, okay? So make sure there's no pressure in there, and you just kind of lift it up. It kind of resembles kind of like a wheelbarrow. And you actually just rock opposite then. Okay, next one, just having it out like this, you can actually kind of rock it in, okay? Let's go back and forth. And also, you can just have it bent like this, and just out a little bit too. So you remember before we had a leg straight, but now we had the legs bent. Okay, next one, just rest your feet in the quads. Place the hand here. Just rock it back and forth. Okay, next one, you can actually kind of compress. You can compress the back. See my hands on the spine, but I'm not putting pressure on the spine. It's more on the side. one, like this, like this, so you're going to kind of compress like the glute region, the lower back, upper back, and you can even lift up the opposite knee, so you just bring it over, yeah. Next one, just going to lift this up a little bit. Place your quad on their quad. Okay. You actually rock like this, then too. Okay, next one, 